Germany's biggest union calls for four-day week to save thousands of jobs. Here's a summary of the article. Germany's largest trade union IG Metal proposed a four-day working week ahead of the next round of collective bargaining talks due to begin next year, reported German media on Saturday. The shorter week would be, the answer to structural changes in sectors such as the automotive industry, said union chair Jörg Hoffmann to German national newspaper Süddeutsche Zeitung. With this, jobs in the industry can be kept instead of being written off, added Hoffmann. IG Metal, which represents workers from major carmakers such as Audi, BMW and Porsche, is Europe's largest industrial union. These companies were forging the way for all businesses in the metalwork and electronics industries, said Hoffmann. Earlier this year, a research agency funded by the German government suggested that in a worst-case scenario, more than 400,000 jobs in the German car industry could be gone by 2030. In the upcoming union talks, Hoffman said IG Metal would call for a wage increase for workers, despite the recession. This post received a score of 39,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. They're calling for a wage increase, probably hourly wage increase, as well as a four-day work week. They would probably get paid less, and they would work less. I would imagine the hourly wage increase would help offset the impact of the pay cut. There will probably be a pay cut, but seeing as how these are metal workers, they're most likely going to still get paid enough to live comfortably. Money isn't everything. Better work-life balance. Back when I used to work three days a week, three by twelve with a slight bump to equate forty hours, was the happiest time of my life. Didn't feel like a slave, didn't even feel like I had a job. First half of the week was a slog, but even then not bad, good working environment and co-workers, and then I had Thursday to Sunday of freedom. Miss it. I do 4 by 10, and I love it. If I want to do overtime, I can do it, and still know I got two days off. If not, I have three days off, and it's nice to get an extra day to recharge. 3 by 12 I don't think I could do on a constant basis since I'd still like a little free time before or after work, but I can see where it's nice with the off days. The job switched to a 4 by 10 near the end of my time there. Not only was it way worse, who knew, but by the fourth day all work would be done by halfway through, and we'd have to fuck around staying busy, which sucked because it was wasting both company and worker time. Trust me. 3 by 12 is far better than 4 by 10. The extra day is absolutely worth it. 12 hour shift is no worse than 10, maybe 1% worse, while a whole extra day off is incalculably valuable. That said, 4 by 10 is still a very solid alternative to 5 by 8. I mean, it sounds like you could have been doing 4 by 8, which is awesome, and should totally be the goal. That would be a bit short, as it's only 32 hours. We usually used the full 36 of a 3 by 12. Plus, even for shorter shifts I wouldn't give up the extra day off. Wages should be increased across the board to no longer necessitate 40 hours a week. We have robots and more people than jobs. 40 hours is an archaic holdover from an obsolete time. Greater than it was in companies' interests to shorten working hours instead of cutting staff numbers, it ensured specialists were retained and saved on redundancy costs, said Hoffman. This is actually codified into law as Kurzabiet short-time working. Employers can reduce work hours and request government assistance from social security funds to make up for the gap. This allows companies to squeeze through difficult time periods like the current pandemic without layoffs. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.